What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing another outfit challenge. I previously did the Kanye West $80 outfit challenge. That video did really well, you guys loved it. So I decided to do another one. I took a poll on Twitter between ASAP Rocky, Ian Connor, and Justin Bieber. Overall, I decided to do the ASAP Rocky. I wanted to switch it up. I've done a few Bieber videos on this channel, so I wanna do something new. ASAP Rocky, he's got a super sick sense of style. So let's go ahead and get into it. We're gonna to head to the computer, see what we can find online. Yes, this is an online challenge. I do it that way because some people can't go into the store and find certain things, like if you're in a different country or whatever. So I'm gonna do it online so it can be available to most of you guys, hopefully most of you guys. So let's go ahead, head to the computer and see what we can find. Now that we're at the computer, the first thing that I do, I go ahead and find a specific outfit because people wear so many different outfits. I wanna focus on one and use that specific outfit to find an outfit for. So all I'm gonna do is type in ASAP Rocky Fashion 2016. Then I just go over to images and I just search through these until I find something I like. Something that I think is possible because I like to keep this as simple as possible and as cheap as possible but a lot of people like me to do a little more expensive, so I might go a little bit more expensive depending on how this goes. That's why I don't necessarily have a set limit right now on how much I wanna spend. If I can keep it at 50 bucks, I'm gonna do it, but I also like to put together a really dope outfit for you guys. So we'll go ahead and find some, like we got a simple one right here, Adidas sweats, a nice little uh, jacket right there, and some, I think those are Stan, I don't know what shoes those are, I can't tell, Stan Smiths maybe. Pretty dope, it's got a nice denim jacket. It's got some slides on. Too simple. Some jeans, that's pretty simple. I like the flannel. I know he's known for wearing some flannels and some guest stuff, so I like the flannel look. That's that's something. Hey, shout out to Rory Kramer. He's a dope filmmaker. Let's go for this one right here, Flannel Boys. This one's pretty dope. He's got a pair of ones on, some nice black pants, a nice camo jacket. It's kind of like a yellow camo though, which might be harder to find, and a sweatshirt right there. I guess I'm gonna take a screenshot of this one just for an example right now to maybe go back to. I just like to do as many as I can just so I can kind of have some to pick from. It would be cool to find something like that, that jacket, but that's also a suit. The hardest part I think about this is going to be finding something where he's not wearing Supreme or like v -Lone because I can't really get those at a cheap price. Like the v t-shirts are 150 bucks, so it's not gonna be something where I can just straight go for that super cheap. So I'm gonna have to find something that's just different. This one's kind of simple, a little too simple though. Kind of like this one though, it's like a the guest shirt with a denim jacket. I could find something similar to that. Some black pants and those shoes. I don't know about the shoes, but. This outfit's not bad right here at all actually. I kind of like this one. It's got some nice jeans right there. They're not like crazy distressed, got little holes in them. I can't really see what shoes he's wearing, but then there's a nice like uh, vintage wrap tee and then a flannel. I think I can maybe do something with that. I don't know how recent that is. I don't know what I was just doing. There's a closer up of it. That actually looks pretty cool. I might be, do something like that. I gotta see if I can find out what kind of shoes he's wearing though. So I found where he was when he was wearing this outfit. So I'm just trying to see if there's any higher quality photos of the shoes right there. Let's see. I think those are just Stan Smiths. I think that's what those are. I can't really see. Yeah, I think those are just the regular Stan Smiths with the green face on them. Unless they're like some special ones. I don't think they are though. Cause if you look, it's just got the green, they're the simple. So I think we can work with that because I'll just put those in there with it and I'll buy those shoes too and use those for that. Cause I obviously don't have a pair of those, but I'd like to throw the outfit together. This one I want to like incorporate a little bit more money, I guess and just do as much as I can. So we got the outfit here, let's go ahead, we'll start with the shirt. I have an idea where I can get a shirt just like that and I think it's going to be from Urban Outfitters. Uh, I see they have, it's not gonna be an actual vintage shirt but it's gonna be very close and I've seen they've had a, a lot there, they have like Tupac and whatnot. I don't know what this one says, honestly. I don't know, I know a similar style of shirt to that though so let's go ahead, let's go to men's and they usually are pretty good at having stuff like this. Let's see. See like right there, we got that one we can maybe use, uh, or this one towards B.I.G. I don't want some of you guys get mad for not using the exact one. Oh, that's pretty dope, Post Malone. Shout out Posty. What do you guys think? 
I'm thinking, let's look at that shirt. It's got, I think the Notorious B.I.G. one would be better, honestly, yeah. I'm gonna go for the Notorious B.I.G. one. So there we go, we got the shirt right there. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna open up a Word document now and kind of start laying out how much everything's gonna cost. So first we got the shoes right there. Stan Smith's 75 bucks. And then we got the Notorious B.I.G. shirt, 28 bucks. And so next thing we gotta do, we're gonna go for the flannel, I guess. Um, since I'm on here, I'm just gonna go ahead and see if they have anything, I don't think so. I've been in their store recently and I don't think they're gonna have anything. But let's go ahead and look. So I'm gonna look for a flannel at Urban Outfitters while I'm already here. Just because to see, I don't think they're gonna have anything. I think if anybody's gonna have anything, it's gonna be PacSun. But let's see, it's like black, white, and red. EPTM. Cause last time I just did PacSun H&M, I wanna do something different. I wanna go off of off the rails if you wanna say. Um, I haven't shopped too much at your coolware. A lot of you guys tell me about it though. So I'm gonna go ahead and try for here. I think it'd be cool to find something. See, this is the stuff I'm looking for. Look at that right there. That looks pretty good. A hey, shout out to the crepe boots. So I know this that's not what is this? I know that's not too close right there, but that's the best option currently. Um Let's think of some other sites we can go to. All right, now we're at EPTM. I haven't shopped with these guys in a, a minute, actually, but I'm thinking they might have um, a flannel. I know one place that might have one really similar, which is PacSun, but I don't wanna have to buy from the same place. I'm just checking H&M just to see because I haven't found anything exactly like I want to yet. So I wanna get as close as I can, but it's gonna to be tough. So let's go ahead and think. I need to think of a different store right now. Um, so now I'm just gonna move on to the pants because I haven't found the exact funnel I want. I guess I, I kind of have an idea of one that I could use, but I can't find the exact one. So I'm gonna look for the pants now. As you guys saw, they are like a lighter wash. They've got some Distressing just a little bit by the knees and patches up there. I think Paxson has a very similar pant to that though. So I'm gonna see if I can go ahead and uh, find that at Paxson. So I'm looking through Paxson. They have pretty similar ones, but nothing that's like exactly the same. So I might think of it as one of the options, like this one here. So looking at Paxson, I found one similar pant, these right here. They're not exactly the same, obviously. They are a, a darker wash, and they don't have the holes at the knees, but they're decent right now, so I'm gonna go back to H&M and see if they have any either before I go to the other sites. Just get the simple ones done. So the only ones they really have here are these, and I don't think, no, those don't, aren't even close. So I don't know why these are all so skinny. So I'm gonna go ahead and look on your cool wear maybe and see. What I'm thinking right now, this is a little tougher than last time because I can't find something that I exactly am looking for. Cause like these right here are pretty similar and I know I'm not gonna be able to find the exact thing but I wanted to be able to get as close as I could. Seeing how the flannel has been tough too, I don't want the outfit to be completely off. So looking on Paxson, I might've found a pair of pants to go for. These right here. They're a light wash, as you guys can see, if you wanna look at like that. They're not the exact same, I know. They're, they're different, and it's gonna be really hard for me to find the exact same, but I think these might be the closest that I go with. So if I don't find anything else, I'm gonna go with these. They are really light, but I think I'm gonna go with these, if anything, if I can't find anything else, because they're similar to the wash compared to like this one right here, so. This I think is gonna be my best bet. So now that we got the pants figured out for now, I'm gonna go ahead and order those. So you can see I still have a ton of tabs open. I'm gonna go ahead and just go straight for the flannel now. This is still gonna be a little bit tough, but I'm gonna have to compromise somehow because I, got, I gotta make the outfit. So I can't find a black, red, and white flannel. So this is right here, one of my best options I think right now. But I'm gonna keep going and checking and seeing if I could find anything anywhere because 
There's gotta be something. Let's try Forever 21. All right, I did a little bit more searching and I might have found a flannel that might be a little bit better. I don't necessarily like the look as much and I don't know how it's gonna go. There's this one right here from Tilly's. I looked on Tilly's, Zoomies, Uniqlo. I've been looking all over trying to find a flannel. I think that is almost gonna be the closest one I can get. But as you can see, that's just not the easiest thing to do. I think this one is just not gonna fit like that one, I guess. I don't know, I just can't seem to find the exact one. So it's either this or that. And I just don't know. I might search a little bit more, but let's just do a recap right now. You guys know I have the general idea of what I wanna get. First thing we have is a Notorious B.I.G. shirt, which was $28. Then we have the uh, Adidas uh, Stan Smiths right here, $75. Then we've got the Urban Outfitters pants right here. I'm gonna add that, $59. Urban Outfitters pants, $59. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and go with this one. So that's $23. I know it's not exactly the same, but uh, I mean, I'm doing the best that I can. I looked for a while looking for some stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and go with this one. And that's $23. So let's go ahead and look at the total right here. I'm gonna do 75 plus 28 plus 59 plus 23, 185 bucks before taxes. So it's probably gonna be roughly 200 bucks, but that's what it's looking like right now. And I gotta pay for shipping and stuff. So I'm gonna do that. It's gonna take probably a week to get all this stuff in because shipping is just so different in different places. So it takes a while. So I'm gonna go ahead, do that, order all this, and we're gonna touch base in like probably a week or so. And then we're gonna go ahead, put the outfit together, see how it turned out, and hopefully you guys enjoy it when we come back to it. Over a week's gone by now, and I've got all the packages here, so let's go ahead, open them up, and see everything that we got. It's the first one from Forever 21. There's a flannel right there, size large, $22.90. This is the part of the outfit that I had a little bit of a problem with trying to find the right flannel because I couldn't find one that was too close to one he was wearing. I think this is a good alternative though because I'd wear this otherwise and I think this one's dope. So we'll see how it looks together. Next up we got a package from Urban Outfitters. This is the denim right here. I'm happy with how the color came out. We'll see how these fit on me and I think this is a pretty good replica of what he was wearing. It's got some distressing. It's not exactly what he was wearing. Then we got a package from Foot Locker. They busted this box up. Dang. They beat this box up. Here we go. We got the Stan Smiths right there. Classic colorway, white with the green. This is one that I've never had and I don't know how it's gonna look on me, but he was wearing it in the outfit, so I thought I might as well get it. It was only 75 bucks and I think it will tie the outfit together rather than wearing something that I have. Lastly, we got this shirt from Urban Outfitters. Here we go, Notorious B.I.G. It's a pretty dope shirt. Now we're gonna go ahead and see how the outfit looks on me. I'm gonna do a little bit of montage of me wearing it so you guys can see what it looks like all together. So we'll go ahead and get into that soon. Outfits on and everything fits. Now let's go ahead and head to some slow-mo clips and some dope music of this fit together. And you guys can go ahead and tell me if you think I pulled it all together well. So we'll go ahead and head into that slow-mo clip now. There it is, there's how the outfit challenge came out. I'm actually pretty happy with how this outfit came out because it's different from what I typically wear. I like switching it up a little bit and wearing shoes like the Stan Smith is different for me and I think that I pulled everything together pretty well. I wanna know what you guys wanna see next though on the outfit challenge. I did this one on Twitter and you guys picked ASAP Rocky. I did between ASAP Rocky, Ian Connor, and Justin Bieber and ASAP Rocky won by 1%. I know a lot of you guys wanna see Justin Bieber, but I kinda of wanna do a little bit different stuff too. I do wanna to do Justin Bieber though, because I know a ton of you guys wanna see that. 
but let me know down below which people you want to see next and what you thought of the outfit if you liked it. It's not too different from what I wear all the time. I mean, distressed jeans, uh, graphic tee, and uh, flannel. I mean, it's not too different. The shoes were definitely a different take for me, but I do like the way that I incorporated everything together because a typical outfit for me would not be worn like this, but I like the way that it kind of ventured out. So that's going to wrap up the video. If you guys like this outfit challenge, check out my last one. I did it with Kanye West. I also have a few cheaper alternative videos. I'm going to be doing more of these soon in the future. So again, let me know down below who you want to see. Subscribe here if you are new. I post videos on Sundays and Thursdays. I'll see you guys next time. This is Harrison, signing out.